Hello, I made a previous video about Genesis uh, featured post widget but I thought if you can actually see how it's done, if you can just watch me do it um, it'll be easier for you to understand what's going off. So this is the Genesis, this is the uh, magazine theme, it's a studio press theme that runs on a Genesis framework and these bits here are uh, Genesis featured post widgets so when you first install the theme yourself you'll just get a blog listing these are blog posts in the list and it doesn't look the same as this so first of all what I thought I'll just show you I'll show you quickly how this is done and then we'll add some uh, we'll make some changes what we need to do we need to drag some of these widgets into widget areas over here and this is using a studio press theme called uh, magazine excuse me <coughs> pardon me right what we're going to do we need to drag the Genesis featured post widget into home left and we're going to make some changes I'm going to choose a category of let's see what they've used celebrities and music so a category of celebrities I'm showing one post and I've shown a featured image let's say 280 be 150 show the post title and that's that's all we need for that one then I'll do the other one to it go by its side so what I've got now is just that one or we're going to put some links underneath so to put the links underneath in this box here I just have to type in the number of links three uh, put more links right I'm going to do that with another box at the side of it I'm going to do the same Genesis featured post widget goes into the home right widget area I choose a category of I think it's music isn't it music you've got to have posts in the categories obviously um, what I'm doing is just showing you how the stu this studio press theme has been set up um, showing a featured image which is a 280 wide featured image showing the post title and three links to more posts these posts will be from the same category everything we're doing on this page affects one category so we'll save that and we'll see what we've got so far see that's fairly similar to the studio press one now I need underneath there's a, another block of link a block of um, post to a link to and that's sports so we'll add that one so that goes in the next block down which is home bottom excuse me again <coughs> oh pardon me right this is home bottom so we've got to, again we've got to get the featured post widget I'm going to drag it into this widget area we're going to choose sports as our category obviously you've got to have a certain number of uh, things in the in the category and uh, we're going to have three posts showing right and we're going to go featured image again and we're going to use square thumbnails that are left aligned then show the post title and save so what we've got now this is the studio press one and this is what we've done so far we'll update the page that's what we've done so far now we're going to make some more changes but I'm just trying to show you that number one it's easy and number two you can you can pick and choose how you want things these featured images you've got to have a, a, a put your blog post so you've either got to have a big picture at the top of the blog post or you've got to set features in it featured images in your blog post when you write a blog post a blog post um, you've got to either include the image here or set a featured image down here so it'll take either of those it'll take a big big image from there or this one set in the featured image here so let's see where shall we get to now where were we for appearance widgets and what I want to do I want to add some more just pictures down this side so what I'm going to do on this side I'm going to have just images but I'm going to have three of them so that was home left 
and I'm going to change the settings. I'm just trying to show you that you can change the settings and just to give you some idea of what happens when you do change the settings. Um, I'm going to get rid of that extra number there so there'll be no extra post shown and I'm going to show uh, I'll show the title but I'm not going to show any content so here I can ch choose no content so there'll be no text apart from the title so let's see what we've got now I've changed this see how it's different now and to make it match up I'm going to have to put some more text in here just so it looks a bit more balanced and you just have to guess just put in whatever you think so on the right hand side I'm going to change that one to have um, shall we say well, up to show content limit and then I can choose the, the number of characters I'll try 600 and see if that works and if it doesn't I just sort of try different numbers until I came up with something that looked fairly balanced I think that looks reasonable doesn't it um, you've got a fairly equal thing on one side to the other right now underneath if we wanted to do something similar down here we could change this image here to be a different size so we've got to find the image the um, the widget area we're using and the widget area that 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 is in is called home bottom which is this one so I'm going to make some changes I'm going to keep it the same apart from this featured image I'm going to have um, this, this one that's called tabs 580 by 250 I'm going to have no alignment because it's a big picture and it'll take up the whole paste, the whole width of the uh, available space so this is what we've got now and when we've made the change we've got this what I'm trying to show you is that you can make changes to, to suit how you want the page to look um, what else could we do you can actually, what you can do, you're not limited to, you see that's a widget area, but you can have two of these widgets, one under the other. So there's the Genesis featured post widget in the home bottom. I'm going to add another one in the same area. And in this one, I'm going to set it up the way we had the previous one. So let's have a look. Uh, we'll pick a different category. What have we got? More movies. I don't, I'm not sure how many movies we've got available, but let's try two. We might have, you never know. Um, so featured image, this time I'm going to stick with the thumbnail left aligned, uh, show excerpt and I'm going to show the title so let's see what we've got there there we go, look at it, I think we've only got two posts in that uh, thing but what I'm trying to show is that you, you can do all different types of things once you learn how this works there's all kinds of different things you can do and you can make a really good looking home page for your site it, it depends not all studio press themes have these widget areas in this place but um, if your theme does have them then this is the sort of thing you can do with it um, but it does it makes a really nice looking home page and it gives you a bit of variety well I think I've explained more or less all I want to explain well, you, what the important things are to have a featured image, your your blog post, the page that, like this blog post here, it has to have an image in it, or, or you can't have a featured image. And either, the image will be taken either for a big picture at the top of the page that's bigger than you need for your featured image, or this where you, where you can click set featured image there. Um, so that's where the image gets into the page. So you've got to have an image that's attached to the page to do it, or to have a featured image. Um, what else is important? The, I explained in a previous video about all these. You can order by date, um, the ID number of your pages, all kinds of different things. This random one's quite good. If you I wonder which one that is, do, 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 that's the bottom one. I'll, I'll, I'll set random on a different one so you can see um, what random does. But it can be quite useful, can random. So home left, we'll set to random. Now, so we've got order by random so I'll save that and just explain to you what that means because the thing is with this there's lots and lots of useful um, little bits of it. as you get more used to it you think oh now then I can do this and I can do that so we'll update that and see what we've got oh. <laughs> I've changed it a bit too much haven't I I 
featured celebrities. I'm not sure if we've got enough featured celebrities. Oh, hang on, I'll, I'll click the save. Make sure I've saved it. There we go. Now, we've only got two in that category. But each time you refresh the page, it changes, you see? So if you have a reason for wanting this to appear differently on, you know, for, for different people who view the page, this is the way to do it. Set that to random. Um, this order by there, within the category one, set order by random. And then each time somebody refreshes the page, it'll be a different, uh, or potentially different, di different pictures here, or different linking to different um, blog posts. Well, I hope that's given you an idea of what you what, what this is capable of. Um, and just experiment, just have a go, get stuck in and try it out and change some settings and see what which settings look good on your, your website. Thanks for watching and bye for now.